Pete, don't you get the feeling, though, we've got no idea what's going on right now? On Friday at the close, the market took care of business with Credit Suisse and priced it at 186. What did this deal close for? 76? Yeah, something like that. OK, so what, 3 billion Swiss? They raised four a couple of months ago. They raised four billion, and now it's worth three. And I was told repeatedly that the Swiss unit was worth, what, 10 billion? Correct. And they're getting that for three, and they need to throw government guarantees in there as well. Now, that's just Credit Suisse. And take does, out the 81s, don't does, forget does that. Does that not make you just pause and say, there might be some stuff that I don't know here? I, I think the fear everyone is going to have is, if we get a look behind the balance sheets and really what's in there, are the losses more concerning? And then all these things, right, we all know what it costs to sell a treasury or sell a mortgage bond, right? There's a bid out there. But if 10 banks are all selling that same bond, the bid will be lower. If 30 banks are all getting four. So that is why I think we've got to stop this deposit flight because it creates f effectively four sellers and price doesn't become the object then. So yes, I think that is the risk. And that's why I'm not in love with what happened in Switzerland today. I don't think it solves the problem for Europe. I think their problems are different than ours. Here, I think a deposit guarantee would really solve this issue for us, or at least put it on hold. But that's going to be the scrutiny that the bank balance sheets are getting is going to be intense, and it's intensifying. And more and more people want to know, what do you have, not just in terms of the details of your maturity, the types of assets, but even where are your deposits? Where's your cash sitting? Yeah. That's a new thing.